Here's a top lying on a table. Let's make it spin. We'll start off by turning this background image into a smart object. And we'll see why in a bit. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery and choose Spin Blur. And by default, the spin comes out right in the middle. Let's move it so it's underneath the center of the top. And we can grab one of these handles and stretch it out. And let's also stretch it so that it fills the entire object. We can make it a bit wider. And that makes a more convincing spin around the side. We can use the control in the middle to increase the amount of spin. I think that's looking too much, so let's take it down. And the gentle spin is enough to get the effect across. Hit OK, and we're back on our layer. Now we don't want the table to be spinning, and we don't want the top handle to spin. Because we made it into a smart object, when we apply a filter to it, that filter has a mask. We can paint on that mask in black to hide not the layer, but the filter applied to that layer. And this applies to all filters applied to smart objects. Because it's a smart object, we can edit the effect. Double-click the Blur Gallery. It'll load it up. We can now reduce the amount of blur if we like. When we click OK, there it is with our layer mask attached. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, please subscribe to this channel or visit photoshop.london for many more.